Top 5 Interesting Facts About Wolves Welcome to my channel. So before we get started with our video, make sure to give it a thumbs up and if you are new here subscribe to our channel and press the bell icon so you never miss any updates. Wolves and humans have a complicated relationship. We often vilify the big bad wolf in fiction and real life, but we're also consistently fascinated by these smart, social mammals, and we haven't always clashed. Our ancestors even allied with wild wolves sometime in the late Pleistocene epoch, eventually giving us the unparalleled friends, we now know as dogs. Despite all this history, many people don't understand wolves as well as they think. Domesticated dogs can be very different from their wild relatives, who haven't spent millennia learning to love us. And due to the decimation of wild wolves by humans in recent centuries, most people alive today have little or no personal experience with wolves aside from dogs. In hopes of shedding more light on what wolves are really like outside fables and fairy tales, here are a few unexpected facts you may not know about these unique allies and adversaries of humanity. Number 5. Wolves are family animals. Adult gray wolves can survive on their own and may need to for a while after leaving their birth packs. Wolves are highly social, however, and often mate for life once they do find a partner. This marks the beginning of a new wolf pack, or nuclear family, the basic social unit for wolves. Both gray and red wolves breed once per year in late winter or early spring, and both have a gestation period of about 63 days. They generally have four to six pups in a litter, which are born blind, deaf, and heavily dependent on their mother. Number 4. Alpha wolves are just moms and dads. Gray wolves usually live in packs of six to ten individuals, led by a dominant breeding pair. You may have heard someone refer to these pack leaders as alpha wolves, or males and females who supposedly gain dominance by fighting within their packs. Eventually becoming the group's leaders and exclusive breeders this view is widespread and misleading. Many wolf experts now consider alpha wolf an outdated term, arguing it doesn't accurately describe the way a wolf pack works. One such expert is L. David Meck, a renowned biologist who helped popularize the idea decades ago but now discourages its use. Number 3. Dire wolves may not have been wolves. The now extinct dire wolf was common across North America until about 13,000 years ago when much of the continent's megafauna vanished amid natural climate changes. Dire wolves were comparable in size to today's largest gray wolves, but they had bone-crushing jaws and may have focused on big prey like horses, bison, ground sloths, and mastodons. Dire wolf fossils suggest a strong resemblance to modern gray wolves and based on morphological similarities, scientists have long assumed the two were closely related. Number 2. There used to be a lot more wolves. Even with this diversity, and the relative abundance of gray wolves globally, Earth now has far fewer wolves, and fewer kinds, than it once did. The fossil record has revealed an array of interesting wolf and wolf-like species, for example, including the famous dire wolf as well as the hypercarnivorous xenocyons, or, strange dogs, which may be ancestors of modern African wild dogs and doles. On top of natural extinctions in prehistoric times, however, humans have waged war on gray wolves for centuries. The gray wolf was once the most widely distributed mammal on Earth, according to the International Union. Number 1. Wolves are surprisingly diverse. The word, wolf, usually refers to the gray wolf, the most widespread and familiar wolf species still in existence. Gray wolves are widely thought to have evolved from the smaller Mossbach wolf, a now extinct canid that lived in Eurasia during the middle to late Pleistocene. Thanks to adventurous, adaptable ancestors, gray wolves have thrived for hundreds of thousands of years across huge swaths of both Eurasia and North America, where they've diverged into a wide variety of subspecies. Let us know what you think about the list in the comment section below. If you enjoy this video, please like the video and also subscribe to our channel. Thank you.